Hi folks, Robert here with more Revit training and today we're going to look at our schedule that we worked on uh, on this project. This is our commercial project, our warehouse, um, I mean, well, anyway, um, what we had question was that all our drawings here, we've got our schedules, so our schedule sheet. It's right there, 800. So there's our schedule, our room schedule. But somebody wants to do a schedule that shows each wall. Okay, no problem. We'll do that right quickly here. So I'm going to go back here. Uh, this is our schedule that we're working with. So you know how to do a schedule. You know, view tab, schedule, quantities here and all that. But we're already here, so I'm going to just... Uh, come into my properties down here and select on fields. So here in my fields, we've got all our we got our our rooms. Uh, we probably want to take com well, we can leave comments in, but no, we want, might want to take that out because the schedule is going to get a little big and it might be bulky on the sheet. So there we go. So now we have our a room number name here you got and there's our finishes so now what I'm gonna do here I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna add some more fields so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna create uh, these new fields and this is gonna be my north wall my new parameters just gonna be north Oops, north wall and then here you're going to say type of parameter, this is going to be text, and then right here, group under, uh, material finishes, and then here you want to tick this values can vary by group instance, and then we'll say okay. So now you got to do that for each wall here, so we got north wall, and new, I should have just pasted that in, east. East wall. Okay. Uh, nope, not yet. You go uh, type of parameter, text. Here, this is going to be sorted under materials and finishes. And then we'll say okay. So we got north, east, south. I'm going to cheat a little bit on this one if I can. Copy. Yep, I can. Okay, here. And then we got uh, another one here. We're going to paste that in there. And this is going to be my, which one is that going to be? Okay. This is west. Should have took east. <laughs> <coughs> Okay. Again, this is important. Text parameter, group under materials and finishes. Alright. Let me say okay. And then we might want to go, let me see, we got ceiling here. And what else can we get out of this? Oh, we got ceiling and we got all okay. So now we gotta move these guys around. So I think we wanna have um, these up around the base finish. So that the north there, <coughs> the east comes up next. Then the west. South. Uh, drinking water, plastic bottle. Sorry, folks. Uh, so now, 
We've got north, east, west, south. Okay. Uh, wall finish, selfie finish, size height. Okay, so that's good. So now, let's say okay here. Now let's go into, now actually, let's go into sorting. I'm going to leave that there for the time being. Uh, formatting here. Now, in the formatting, I want to go and grab, I want to, I want to get rid of this. I want to take the wall out of here. We don't need to see that. We don't need to see that. We don't need to see that. We can just go north, east, west, south. Uh, we don't need to see that. Okay. So there you see our walls coming together a little bit. There's our north, east, south, and west with the new parameters we added. So that's basically it, well, how you would do that. Pretty simple. Uh, then again, uh, another thing, you can go into uh, formatting here now, and I would grab these four right here. And I'm gonna change this to vertical. I'm gonna say okay. Now, as you can see, it's not vertical here, but let's go jump into that, our schedules. And there you go. So now you can single out your walls for your finishes and everything. And now you can go, there's your north, east, south, west, and we got a vertical. And we can group them together and do other things. But that was just a quick one there. I wanted to show you how to do a, a real, proper, real finish schedule for interior designs. Hey, guys, thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Make sure you make videos like this all the time. Bye. Be safe, y'all.